Hey crypto friends, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm going to talk about when is the best time to buy cryptocurrency, you guys. And the answer for yourself personally is actually going to depend a lot on, you know, what your personal overall long-term goals are in the crypto market, okay? And we'll get through that. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But guys, before we actually go ahead and get started, um, if you are interested in trading cryptocurrency and you would like to try the exact same exchange that I use, um, feel free and go ahead to try out the MEXC exchange. You can find a link to it in the description below this video. Um, I am a partner, so I will say that. Um, so guys, let's get into this video. So, so far, you guys, this video is probably going to be pretty short. So just bear with me here, okay? Now guys, as far as the best time to actually buy cryptocurrency, um, this is going to vary a lot dependent on you know who you are as a person and what your overall strategy is and what you plan to do in the cryptocurrency market. And in addition, you guys, you're probably going to get a different answer from all kinds of different people as well because I mean, there's all kinds of different opinions throughout this, you know, throughout the cryptocurrency market as a whole. So you're probably going to get all kinds of different answers from different people here, okay? But from my personal view and my perspective and my personal opinion, you guys, there really is no bad or good time. And it's literally impossible to time the market. So you, it's really hard to get the exact bottom or the ex, or the, or it's really hard to, you know, buy at the exact bottom and sell at the exact top. I mean, realistically, you guys, that, that doesn't happen. It just doesn't work that way. Okay. So the only thing here we can do here, you guys, is we can guesstimate based on history and, you know, past price action levels and, uh, see where we can go from there. Okay. Now guys, as far as, you know, the type of, uh, you know, investor that you're going to be, here's the thing, you guys, it's going to be a little bit different as far as when you should buy. Things are going to be a little, a little bit different, whether you're hodling or holding on to cryptocurrency for, you know, for a, the long term, or if you are going to actively trade the market, whether you're swing trading, day trading or whatever. Okay. So guys, I'm going to start this off with hodling or holding on for the long term. So guys, if you are trying to enter the crypto market and you want to enter it and you want to buy and hold on to cryptocurrency for the long term, you know, let's say you want to buy into like, I don't know, I'll just use a broad example. Let's say you're buying Bitcoin today and you plan on holding on to it for five to 10 years. Okay. That would be an example of holding on to it for the long term. Okay. But if you're planning on buying it and you want to trade it and try to make, you know, a certain percentage per day or something like that on a daily basis, then you would consider yourself a trader. Okay. So guys, if you're hodling or holding on for the long term, you want to try your best to buy the bottom of the current market uh, bear trend, okay? But if you don't catch the very bottom, then honestly, any time is a good time to buy as long as you're not buying the top here, okay? And I'm gonna show you on the chart here real quick, all right? So this is what we're looking at, all right? So this is my chart. Um, let's see here. I'm clearly in the 15 minute chart. We don't wanna be here. We wanna be on the daily chart. Um, don't mind the lines. Uh, these lines all have to do with my personal trading strategy and how I trade. These are just support and resistance lines. That's all they, all they are. Uh, just don't pay, don't pay attention to them. So guys, here we are on the daily chart. So as we can see, you guys, this is the current um, bear market that we're in. As you guys can clearly see here, I've got my trend line going all the way down. Um, this is the trend that the bear market has been following. And as we can clearly see here, you guys, you know, we started up here, right up here at like $69,000 when it, Bitcoin hit its all time high, and it's been trending and going downwards ever since. Okay. So again, you guys, if you are planning to buy and hold for the long term, we can definitely guesstimate. I mean, we can assume that it's going to reach all time highs again at some point in time. So when I say that any time is a good time to buy, if, if, if we're thinking that it's going to go up to all time highs again, which it probably will, um, then literally guys, any time to buy, any time is a good time to buy. If you're just buying and holding for the long term. Okay. But if you do want to go ahead and try to time the market, um, you can do that as well, but you might be waiting a little bit of a long time. You guys, um, here's the thing. All right where cryptocurrency is currently at, I mean, we can guesstimate how low it's going to go, but we don't exactly know exactly how low it's going to go. For instance, check this out, okay? Um, I'm going to take a make a trend line here. So if we, for instance, um, like me personally, you guys, obviously, uh, what you can see here, you guys, is every time that we have hit this trend line, it has, you know, dropped in price and gone deeper, you know, down in price, okay? If it were to break this trend line, then that would mean, okay, well, we might be starting a new a new bull market, which that's not happening. Um, so as you guys can see, it tried to break this break this line right here once. 
it didn't break it so it went down and it you know it fell again and it just tried to do it again just recently and it's probably going to start falling again okay so check this out you guys actually let me go ahead and extend this real quick so let's see here if we were to try to time the market for if you want to try to buy the bottom um here's my best guesstimation okay as far as when i think you know um you know the overall long-term bear market is going to be over with here um so here's the thing you guys i think we are due for another at least one more uh very big drop so if we take a drop that's this size so we'll go ahead and make a trend line from up here where this drop started and we'll make the trend line all the way down to where the drop ended which is right down here so if we go ahead and take this you guys if it does this again if it drops like this again and we bring it over here if it were to drop like this again you guys we could easily see prices down in as you guys can clearly see it right here on the right hand side here I'll, i will put a horizontal line just in case if we put a horizontal line right at the bottom of where this you know where where it is we could potentially see prices, you guys, at roughly $8,900 or $9,000 or $9, roughly. So if we have another big drop like we had back in June, we could definitely easily see roughly around $9,000. I mean, it's right here, guys. It's clear as day. You can see it right here. Um, that's the same size drop that we had in June. If it happens again, which is it's totally, it's definitely possible for it to happen, then that's how low it will go, you guys. Um, so you got to keep that in mind as well. So here's the thing you guys if you are looking to buy for the long term Just remember it could potentially be dropping that far now as far as when that will happen I honestly don't know nobody knows um, let me see here. Let me go ahead and get my Handy dandy um, Where is that damn brush? <laughs> Where's this brush? I'm looking for a brush Huh? Why? There's my brush. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. If I were to guesstimate, I would assume that if it, if it dropped again, I would assume that it's going to, you know, go down like this and then drop down. Whoops, I made my line way too long. My bad. Um, I would assume that it's going to, you know, continue to drop and will drop down to, you know, roughly that, you know, $9,000 area, right? And then what I think will happen, you guys, is I think we'll end up, you know, start going sideways, you know, just like the end of, just like the end of right here. You know, just like the end of right here, at the end of this big drop right here, I think we'll have another ending right here, and it will start, you know, going up and down and up and down again, like that, before we reach this trend line again. And at this trend line, you guys, I mean, it could potentially go down even deeper, but as far as history tells us, you guys, I do not think that we will go deeper than this, okay? Me personally, again, this is my personal opinion. Um, I don't think we'll go any deeper than this last drop. I really, really don't. Um, and if we don't, then it will potentially eventually break through this line and we will be starting a potentially starting a new uh, bull market again. But realistically, you guys, in my personal opinion, I don't think that's going to be happening until, you know, maybe roughly early 2024 or so. I think we could be trending, you know, sideways um, for quite a while. Uh, before the market starts to really start in a full full on bull trend again again you guys this is just my personal opinion and you'll get a, a different opinion from everybody okay so if you are trying to time the market here your best bet is to wait and see if it drops down to nine thousand dollars okay if it drops down to nine thousand dollars go ahead and buy you guys that is a very that is a damn good place to go ahead and buy in to hold on to for the long term perspective you guys okay now if you're trading if you're if you're trying to trade the market then obviously you guys you know when you're trading the market you want to be able to try to find you know the support and resistance levels you want to be able to try to figure out when the best time to buy is okay um so you really don't really care about you know how far it could go down in the long term because if you're trading anyway um you know you really don't care about that you only care about you know what's in front of your screen in you know in a specific in a specified time frame okay so realistically here you guys i mean let's say you want to buy into bitcoin right now you want to wait until you find you know a current bottom so again you guys this could potentially end up dropping all the way down to you know nine thousand you know nine thousand dollars or so so realistically here you guys if you're trying to trade the market realistically there is no good or bad time to buy okay 
Um, realistically here though, I mean, you really need to learn about trading and really learn about, you know, what your overall trading style is and what kind of trading style you want to adopt before you actually get in to try to trade. Um, that is my best answer that I can honestly give you because nobody can tell you guys how, how to trade. Um, we can give you ideas and stuff like that. Um, but you guys, if you are buying the bottom or if you are trying to trade, you have to make sure that you are definitely buying, you know, whether you're trading, you know, a long-term um, whether you're trading a, a long-term trend or, you know, based on, you know, one day or four hour charts, you got to make sure you're getting the bottom, you guys. Other, you know, a good time to buy would be down here or right in here, you know, obviously so you can ride the wave upwards. Now, finding these levels, that's for a different video. I could go in so much depth to try to get there and tell you guys, but I'm going to save that for another video. Personally, my trading strategy has recently changed as far as the way that I do my day trading. So I will be making videos about how, you know, how my, my new strategy is and how I use it and stuff. Um, so, you know, bear with me on that and, you know, for future videos. But as far as right now for this video, you guys, if you are trying to trade the market and you're trying to figure out the best time to buy, you know, you got to wait until it, you know, reaches a bottom level or a bottom support level or something like that, you guys. You want to... Overall, you guys, you want to figure out what your trading style is, and that's going to tell you, and that is how you are going to base your decision off of when you should buy, okay? But as far as hodling and holding on to, you know, cryptocurrency for the long term, you guys, you can buy pretty much any time, okay? We are down far enough right now where, you know, if you're planning to buy and hold on to it for the absolute long term, I'm talking a year plus, you know, you're, you, I'd say you're, you're definitely safe to buy, okay? Um, anytime you want. Uh, because in the long term, you guys, again, in the long term grand scheme of things here, we'll go to the weekly chart here. So in the long term grand scheme of things, you guys, I mean, we're eventually going to end up breaking this line and start trending upwards again and go even higher than we did before. So as you guys can clearly see, you know, buying here is perfectly fine. All right. Even if it drops down here further, you know, you're still somewhat towards the bottom to where you will be able to catch all of these nice gains as it's climbing up in the long term, you guys. So realistically, you guys, any time is a good time to buy, okay? Anybody that is trying to tell you that, oh, wait until the bottom, wait until the bottom, these people are in fantasy land and they are just trying to time the market and that never happens, okay, you guys? That never, never happens. Nobody ever times the market, okay? That's completely impossible to do. So guys, if you have any questions about anything that I tried to explain here, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Um, you can find a link to that in the video description below as well. Um, other than that, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, hey, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.